This could be the best iPhone I've ever had. It completely changed my experience with cell phones. It's really fast, the screen is much brighter, sharper and punchier than previous cell phones have used before. The camera, a whole other level. I'm not gonna lie, I wasn't expecting this quality. This device is close to perfect, but there are a few things I'm not so sure about. Today I'll show you my setup, the accessories I use and talk about my experience using it. This video is sponsored by Moft. More on them later. If you've been following me for a while, you know I don't buy new tech as soon as it's out. I'd rather wait for the haters to make videos, check reviews and see if it's worth a buy because these are pricey. I mean, I had the iPhone 8 up until last month. The iPhone 8! This is the iPhone 14 Pro 6.1 inches, 128 gigabytes, space black. I've always had the plus version of cell phones, but this time I wanted something smaller. The max size seemed too much for me. The size of this phone feels right on your hands. With the plus version, I always felt like I needed two hands to hold it. So I decided to go for the small size. More compact. I have used 54.5 gigabytes out of 128. I don't think I'll need more than that, but if you plan to download heavy files, files, programs, games, and store a lot of data, maybe you should go for more storage. They go up to one terabyte. That's crazy. All right, here's my setup. I try to keep all my devices clean and minimal. Why? Because if I had them with all these delicious apps, I'd never do anything. I'm using this wallpaper, something about the black and white it's so satisfying to look at. I only have the apps I use the most on the home dock. Swipe right and I get the weather app calendar, the word of the day by Farlex and the YouTube music shortcut. I use two music providers, Apple Music because all my music history is in there, but I also have YouTube Music because it comes with a premium membership, I've been using it for some time now and I gotta say I really like the algorithm, it feels like it knows my music taste better than me. Swipe left all the apps and that's it pretty simple the thing I love the most about this iPhone is the battery life it packs a lot of energy I charge my cell phone every other day now which is insane I remember I used to charge my old cell phone twice a day Another thing I really like is the dynamic island. I wasn't sure how I felt at the beginning. It kind of bothered me because it takes up space on your screen. But now I'm so used to it that I can't go back. It shows you the activity of your apps. When you order food, delivery status, or an Uber, time of arrival. When you're listening to music, it displays the info here. It's pretty useful. One click and it sends you to the app. I think it's a great new feature. The Face ID is pretty fast and accurate, no complaints in that department. Let's talk about accessories. For protection, I'm rocking the vegan leather snap case by Moft. It's great quality, it feels ragged but soft to the touch. MagSafe ready. The side button and volume keys are fantastic, a clicky feeling. Ooh, I really like this notch that protects the camera. Something cool for content creators is the sling integration with the case. In case you want to use it like a vintage camera for fast photo action while you're making content, or just want to keep your pockets free, it's clever design, attach and detach with ease. And I gotta say, it complements your outfit. It's honestly the best case I've owned. I also have this power bank from Moft that comes with a little stand. It is great for your desk for a little charging station. Comes with a magnetic wire for easy attachment. You can charge both the power bank and phone at the same time. Pretty convenient. I like that it's all black, it blends nicely, vegan leather as well, a premium combo. It'll give you close to half a battery. For the size, that's a great boost for when you're out and about. Just put it in your pockets and go. No more wires! If you want to get any of the products I just mentioned, you can use my code ROBERT10 for a special discount. I'll leave all the information in the video description down below. Let's talk about the camera, the main feature. I bought this cell phone because of these lenses, of course. It's a hell of an improvement. It takes awesome pictures. You have the option to change the aperture of the lenses on portrait or cinematic mode, which is pretty neat if you are into photography. And the video is not bad. You get 4K up to 60 frames per second. That's all you need to create good content. Here's a comparison of 4K video from my main camera side by side with the iPhone. Pretty dang good, right? For those of you planning to start a YouTube channel or make video content, get good lighting and this cell phone will deliver, I promise. If you want to know more about how to take good photos or make video content with this cell phone, let me know in the comments and maybe I'll make some tutorials. Alright, so by now you may be thinking, bro, what's the catch? I don't know if I'm doing something wrong, but sometimes it gets really hot. It happens a lot, actually, while charging or when doing something intensive like recording video. Maybe. It's an Apple thing. Pretty annoying. 
That's my only complaint. Other than that, I think this cell phone, it's a great deal. Thank you so much for watching. I'll leave some recommendations here for you to watch next and I will catch you in the next one. Goodbye.